school or um, was it uh, just as I was in class 11 or class 12? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, that was when in chemistry class, I was introduced to the idea of the half-life of a compound. Now, very simply put, what it means is that every compound, every material that exists has a half-life. That means it disintegrates um, into half and everything has a certain period um, to last. Uh, now, if I were to extrapolate that into the careers of people, um, there are half-lives for the careers of people as well. So what do I mean by that? So once upon a time, if you learned medicine, for way, by way of example, um, what you learned at medical school would be valid for about 50 years. What you learned for engineering school would last you for roughly about 60 to 70 years. Um, and if you studied uh, journalism or if you were in the media, you would be there forever. Now, if you were to apply the principle of half-life, which is the time it takes for a substance to decay by half into the professional life, what it means is that the way things are, a medical professional, that means a doctor, is redundant in 27 days now. That's the kind of information that we're dealing with. Everyone has access to that kind of information. When it comes to an engineer, an engineer has a half-life that is even less and is about, just about... 10 to 12 days. So effectively, before you graduate from college, some of the finest professionals are actually out of it. So the onus then is on us to keep learning, to keep upgrading ourselves all the time. Otherwise, we are just going to be redundant. And in my career, the finest people that I have met, the finest minds that I have met, they have the humility to keep learning, to keep upgrading themselves, and they do not say that I went to college and so I have a degree, and therefore I am going to stop studying and I can just continue my, with my practice because they know that they're getting redundant and they will be redundant if they just stay at it. So, my humble submission is that whoever's watching this, think about ways, think about places where you can go to upgrade yourself. I know uh, one little thing. Um, St. Francis, I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, to come here, I had the opportunity to come here once, and it's a lovely campus. You must come and visit it. Um, great ambience, great place, and some lovely people.